Hey, this is Steve Halleck with TikToking.com. Uh, subscribe to my channel and check out my website for cool watches. Here we have a really cool one. This is the Oxen Junior Annual Calendar. So many of you might not be familiar with Oxen Junior. They're a very small brand out of Lucerne. And their sort of mission statement is to make very, very simple executions of sometimes complicated watches. So, um, but simplicity and minimalism is the key. So you can see that obviously in this piece, but they don't, um, they leave like machining marks into their cases and they have these really cool mechanisms that do complicated things in as few parts as possible. Um, so here you can see an annual calendar version of that. So you may be a little bit familiar with uh, some of their, uh, sort of their work with the MIH watch, which is the uh, Museum of Horology in Switzerland. And that was not Oxen Jr., but it was Paul Gerber and Ludwig Eschlin uh, who came together to make a annual calendar um, it's an annual calendar chronograph built on a Valjoux 7750 and it was sold through the museum and it was only 5,000 bucks and I think they used only nine pieces to make the mechanism. Um, so after that, they started a brand where they did these things. Um, so I'm gonna take you through this watch. First, let's talk about the case. The case of this particular one is titanium. Another cool thing that they do is you can uh, special order almost any component of this watch. So you can change colors, dials, hands, case, uh, pretty much anything you can think of can be custom done. Um, but this one's in titanium. It's 42 millimeters, but it wears much smaller uh, because you can see these lugs are very, very small. Um, and if I am correct, I believe that the guy who makes their cases uh, does machining or did machining for Formula One uh, race car teams. So he does this cool titanium machining and you can see the machine marks are still kind of left in the case. So it's got this very kind of industrial, minimalist feel to it. And also, remarkably within the watch industry, you can see that there's no branding anywhere on the watch. The crown is unsigned, the back has nothing on it, even the dial doesn't even have a brand name on it. So I kind of like that, it's pretty cool. This particular one, as I said, is in titanium. And then the cool thing with the rest of it is that everything is brass. So the dial is brass, the hands are oxidized brass, the, as are the markers and the little dots here. Uh, so everything is brass, there's no paint or any artificial colorings, it's just either the polished brass or oxidized brass, uh, which I think is really cool and keeps with the minimalist ethos of the watch. So as I said, this is an annual calendar and you may wonder how it's an annual calendar with basically no indications except for dots. So I'm gonna walk you through it and we'll see if I can even get it right and remember it here. First, we'll start with the hands and see what happens if we move those through. Oh, one really cool thing, I guess if we're starting with the smallest measure of time, is if you see in the middle here, there is a small dot and that actually turns and it is a, uh, a seconds hand. So as that dot turns around, that counts the seconds. Um, but let's look here with the time and make sure I'm on the right setting. There we go. All right, so as we go around, you'll see a couple interesting things. This is 12 noon. So watch what happens when we get to about here. You see a second dot came up right there. Well, this lower small circle is the days of the week. And when there's two indicated, that means it's nighttime. So this is now 7.09 PM. And as we go around, you'll now see, I guess I should probably explain what everything is so you know what to watch as you're going. Up here is the month. So you'll see it's in the last hole, which is December. Here is the uh, date. So we have one, two, three, four, five for the date. So it's December 5th. 
And you can obviously read these a lot faster when you get used to it because the dots coincide with the normal hour marker. So you can see this is on 5, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50. And then here you know that you'll be at uh, 30 days, right? So there's that one extra dot for the 31 day months. Um, but let's keep going. So now we're at 11 p.m. And here we're going to boop jump over to the 6th. Okay, so an annual calendar, if you remember from my uh, Paddock 5960 video, an annual calendar knows all the 30 and 31 day months. Uh, the one thing it does not know is February. So you have to change the date once a year in February. But other than that, you're all good. Um, so basically, that's how you get all the indications of an annual calendar without any, uh, any numbers anywhere on the dial. And it ends up being fairly easy to read. It's really minimal, obviously, very cool, and uh, easy to set, too. If you notice, I set everything just through the crown. So you don't need to monkey around with any sort of pushers or anything like that, and it leaves the case really clean. So let me show it to you on the wrist. And you can see that while it is 42 millimeters, it really doesn't wear very big. You can compare it with some of my other watches, but I would say it wears a lot more like a 40 because again, these lugs are super short. They barely even come out. In fact, I don't think they come out at all beyond the um, circumference of the circle itself. So that is the Oxen Junior annual calendar. Uh, this is the all brass version and I hope you enjoyed it.